Assalamu alaikum. I'm Nabila from Dhaka Community Medical College. So today I'm going to teach you how to draw a brachial plexus in a very easy way. So what is a uh, brachial plexus? Basically it's a plexus of nerves. Okay, why is it called as plexus? Because it consists of many branches, right? And uh, where it supplies, it supplies the upper limb. How is, is it formed? It is formed by the union of the ventral rami of cervical 5, 6, 7, 8 and thoracic 1 spinal nerves. So this is about the basic about the brachial plexus. It, has, it consists of roots, trunks, divisions and cords. Four things are present over here. And so I'm going to teach you. I'm uh, going to use this yellow highlighter uh, so that it is convenient for you to understand how to draw brachial plexus. But for the exam, if, if you need to draw, you have to draw first of all the outline and then you have to uh, color it with the yellow pencil color. So uh, without wasting much time, let's start. So as I said, it is formed by the cervical 5, 6, 7, 8 and thoracic 1 spinal nerves. So first we will draw the mouths. 5, 5, 6, 7, 8 and we have thoracic 1. Now we will take the branches of cervical 5 and this is of thoracic 1. Here it's going to join. Okay. So first of all, we will name it. It is cervical 5. Cervical 6, cervical 7, cervical 8 and it is thoracic 1. Okay, so how a trunk is formed? So uh, basically there are three trunks, upper, middle and lower trunk. So upper trunk is formed by the union of the cervical 5 and cervical 6 root like this. And the lower trunk is formed by the union of the cervical 8 and thoracic 1 root. Okay, and cervical 7 is the medial, tr uh, medial trunk. It definitely continues like this in an easy way right now uh, we have uh, some branches and there are in total 11 branches so first of all i'll tell you uh, the long thoracic nerve which comes by this way like this okay and now i'm gonna teach you about the branches so one branch is here in i'm like a little thin it should be okay then another branch is here and the other one is here in some what upward direction I will draw. Then the next branch is here and the last branch is over here. Okay. So in this side we have one, two, three, four and this is the fifth branch. Then we will draw some branches over here. So a long branch over here. Then uh, we have two short branches like this and one branch over here. So in total again, you have a uh, four branch. Then we have some branches over here. One branch is like this. And then we have three branches in total over here. One, two, and then there's three. So this is it about our branches. Then we will draw uh, divisions. So we have anterior division and we have the posterior division. So we'll like just uh, cr crisscross over here. And this posterior division is continued over here. Okay, not exactly like sticking to this, but uh, it's a little mistake, so you can rectify it. I'll do it with my pen. So now I will outline it. So first of all, I'll make a good mouth of it and like this, I'm gonna do. Okay, so it's this, okay. See, in this you have to, uh, whenever you are drawing a diagram, you just have to like keep in mind very much clear that you have to keep in mind about the superficial and the deep things. How the things are opening, where and you, this thing you have to keep in mind. This and next is this one. So first I'm telling about just those outlines which are like literally easy. Then this is obviously a combined one. Uh, my circle is not really good over here although then this later on I'll give you about like how to give the namings of these and then the continuation of these okay this now I'll do continuation over here because we don't need anything very much. I'll leave it here now, okay? 
I'll balance it. It should come this side. It just cost makes because because of the thickness, right? So, okay. Now I'll get the mouths of these. Okay. So uh, now we are going to learn about that. This is the long thoracic nerve. So you have to keep in mind very very uh, like interesting thing here. So here it is open over here. Okay, and it's continuous over here, obviously. Then when we are talking about this part, okay, uh, for long thoracic nerve, you have to keep in mind that there is like short branch, okay, for C6 and for C7. So you have to draw a little like this, okay. So whenever we are talking about this, so uh, in long thoracic nerve, it should be like closed from here, but open from this side, okay, this part is open but this part is here closed okay here it was open okay same goes for the other one the c7 again okay it's closed for here but open for here okay it's open here it's closed here and in the rest for everyone it's closed Here again it's closed okay here here also it is closed uh, okay last thing over here it's open okay everywhere it's closed in the starting it's open and here open okay so this type of thing you have to keep in mind okay now oh uh, yes one more branch is over here so we are giving branches okay so this is the these are the divisions anterior and posterior divisions so obviously anterior division is completely gonna be above right so it's completely above and below that it's the posterior division so i'm not like overlapping this okay see this is below this okay indicates that now continuing it with this and this okay rest all are open so there is nothing to worry just long thoracic now you have to keep in mind okay so i'm just a little bit doing it over here it should come here it should not have gone there okay you should like keep in mind otherwise you will think that it is mixed it's not at all mixed okay so this is our the outline of the brachial plexus now i'm gonna do the labeling so uh, one more one thing i'll okay color it lightly so that you can understand it that yes it's here not over there okay so this is it about the brachial plexus now i'm just gonna do the labeling this is the long thoracic nerve okay uh, then this is the medial pectoral nerve this one is the medial pectoral nerve i'm just writing n for the nerve this is the medial pectoral nerve okay then we have these two nerves which are upper and lower subscapular nerves this and this so these two are upper and lower subscapular nerves okay then this we have i'll mark it over here only yeah it will be better uh, this is the thoracodorsal nerve okay you first mark something else and then do this okay okay this is the thoracodorsal nerve okay then we have uh, these nerves so this nerve is the we have a medial cutaneous nerve of arm and medial cutaneous nerve of forearm so it's medial cutaneous nerve of arm okay arm is for, uh, earlier than forearm then here we have medial cutaneous nerve of forearm okay then we have this is the ulnar nerve 
okay this is our median nerve rest leveling i'm i'm doing on this side but for your uh, like if you are doing this so then definitely you have to do the leveling on one side try to like mix it in one side only okay then here we have um dorsal scapular nerve okay i'll write it here dorsal scapular nerve then this is our uh, suprascapular nerve this one supra scapular nerve okay since my space is over i will write this side okay then we have some other nerves that is this nerve that is the nerve to subclavius nerve to subclavius okay then we have this nerve okay this nerve is lateral pectoral nerve lateral pectoral nerve okay this one was the medial pectoral nerve okay then we have the these two nerves uh, here is our axillary nerve axillary nerve and this is our uh, next nerve that is radial nerve and last nerve is this is musculocutaneous nerve So this is it of about our brachial plexus. You definitely need to learn the root values of these. Uh, and uh, axillary nerve is having a root value of C5, C6, which is like really important. Uh, others follow this according to this brachial plexus. We can decide the names. But for axillary nerve, it is just C5, C6. Thank you. Hope you understand.